profit potentials, your natural money receptors are in the undefined functions. So bingo, there's one, okay? And because you've got a totally open heart and also ashna, so the willpower function, conceptualization and inspiration functions are all undefined. What it's telling me is that you've got lots of potential for profit. Here, selling people as a wisdom potential, wisdom potential. These are the concepts, remember the concepts? These are the concepts you can be certain of. You're here to be wise about answers and wise about other people's opinions. So what is a good, worthy, worthy pattern, logical process to pass on, Jean? That's one of the things that you can profit on. What is something that's going to have you help you have more courage in this life? It's one of the wisdom potentials that you have. Now, what's locked in here is the undefined, it's in an undefined function, the undefined head center. You remember head center is about inspiration. Inspiration is a deep pressure. 70% of the population are undefined like you and I. So it's a huge profit potential. That's your natural money receptor. It's your unconscious voice. This is your voice over here. So what the 63 is telling us is that you're here to sell inspiration through questions, eliminating doubt. Now you have the fifth quality here, but in the third line, how the material application of this trait, it is about questions that pose a kind of collective logic. So you're here to help others. You can, if you want to profit here, how you can help others is through maintaining their status in an evolutionary environment, meaning from the past experience, what happens is we're always questioning, questioning what happened, what happened. And then after we've had something happened, we project, our mind projects into the future. Is that going to happen again? How can I prevent it? So you're here to help other people in what's satisfying for you is to use your unconscious voice to help them have continuity and success. This is about the future, logical future pattern orientation, the expression of thinking. Ooh, isn't that neat? Look, see how we have your conscious communication and thinking on the other side of that stream of awareness? This is about logic. This is about your mind constantly being doubtful. You know, we know when you're in classes, you ask great questions. Everybody recognize that about Jean? If you've been in classes with her, she's in our analyst class right now. She, she asks great questions. So being doubtful of the future is a deep pressure. It's mentally stressful, mentally stressful. So what Jean is here to do is to help relieve the pressure about being doubtful of the future because we're looking for answers in this stream over here. We're looking for things that can continue as far as patterns. How can we improve upon things based on what happened in the past? Jean's the one that asks those questions. So Jean, helping people stay on top of what's to come because your unconscious communication and thinking, your voice has that quality. This is a magnetic attractor field for the fours in our lives who are sitting there with answers but not sure how to, about how to unlock it. They're not sure of the question. They're not sure of the pattern. They haven't been able to validate and test and find the facts that fit where things are designed to go or supposed to go. So this is a mental inspirational field that you can profit from. Did that help somewhat, Jean? I know it's hard because it's an unconscious activation, but I wonder if any of that was relatable. Okay. Got it, she says. The receptor does not be, need to be in the third line t in the undefined center. Thanks. Yep, it, absolutely. Yep. And like I said, the third line is the money way, the mon material way. Okay, so how do we apply that? We use the third way, the third line way. Now, it's not your natural way. 
Is it correct for you in response with emotional clarity with that person in conversation to help them get out of the pressure and stress about the fears for what's to come, the future? That's something that's profoundly valuable to the right person. I want to tell you, it's, I know it's hard as a, a totally open heart center function, willpower function. You don't know your own value and worth inside of your head about yourself. That's why we have to let go of the voice inside of the head. I don't know what my value is. I don't, is this worthy? You know, is this a worthy thought to pass on? If you believe the mind story, it locks you into this fear of, you know, appearing stupid or failure because you feel like you might be rejected by that other person if you open your mouth, if you believe the mind story. But when you're in response with emotional clarity, very different story. It's a very different frequency how you show up when you've been deconditioned from the openness and when you operate in alignment with wisdom. Very different story. So we can't force these things to happen. I'm telling you a story about your body graph. But if you're locked into the homogenization and stuckness of believing negative, um, self-deprecating, de you know, issues about your past life experiences, you're never going to get to where you want to go. We have to let go of the monkey mind. Okay. So let's see. Uh, more questions. If no gates are activated in the open center, how do we recognize the profit potential? So I just went over all of the profit potentials. I explained what you can do here with every single one of them. It was the thing that was in bold. Let me go back and show you. Okay, how do we recognize it? The wisdom potential, the profit potential. It's right. Here's the throat. Selling how to attract attention. This is how you can communicate manifest. You're guiding others in their metamorphosis, in their contact with the material world, as I know your design is undefined here with the communication and action function. And I do remember you have traits there. Those traits are your material profit potentials. Okay. And Claire is recognizing that Jean does ask great, great questions. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All of the open areas in the body graph. I'll go back here because it's really important to see. When you're looking at a body graph, it's, it's really, really challenging for some people to grasp this. But when you start to study in analyst training and you learn about roll gates and line values at a much deeper level because of genetic continuity everyone has everything in the body graph remember how i said at the beginning near the beginning i said this is just a snapshot in time it's an imprinting and everyone has everything with regards to the planetary activations you're seeing what is trustworthy or trustable in the design, all of these activations, these inconsistent dormant potentials, we call them mm, mental conditioners. Those are places when you stop identifying with the not self purpose. So I have to prove, I have to hold on to this thing even though it's not good for me. I have to do more all by myself. I have to pretend to be certain, I have to uh, answer everybody else's questions, even though it's not interesting to me. You know, the moment we let go of the homogenized bull that's in our head about ourselves, and we come from a place of authenticity, now what's moving through us, we can take advantage of and leverage. So I am a third quality personality, third on the conscious personality side. If you're third on the unconscious body side, guess what? Like me, or on the other unconscious, your luck. Because the third quality brings material potential everywhere. It's just that it's not trustworthy. What's trustworthy is what is unique about you and what's unique about you is what is defined, colored in. What are dormant potentials, money, natural money receptors are the ones that are in undefined functions, okay? So even if you don't have it in the third quality, all these other ones here are still 
profit potentials for me. It's just that I have a, a different specific way of giving you solutions to taking action. You know, I have a different message to share, not the third quality way, even though I can genetically identify with it, resonate with it, use it. So all third lines in their profile, third, third, <laughs> third, <laughs> sorry about that. All third lines have a key to success on the material plane. Instead of mm, being downtrodden and pessimistic, a natural layer of pessimism is okay because it protects you from making all the mistakes. But instead of seeing mistakes as error, seeing the trial as an opportunity for discovery, discovering of what does work. Okay. You got, you got, you got all the answers you need now? Yeah. I, I just answered that. I have all of these from a third quality perspective because that's what I resonate to. Because that's what I resonate to. Now, you'll notice when I keynoted myself, I was talking about, you know, activations there. But if I look at what's on the other side, what am I going to resonate to? Because I'm a third quality, I'm going to resonate to the three here and here, most especially as I'm interested in, my personality construct is interested in, we all are interested in what's on the other side of the trait, on the other side of the, of the strength, okay, the channel. <laughs> I'm using dual keynotes because I have got BG5 people in here and also human design people. Okay, so I just highlighted all of the areas in my body graph where my mind would be very curious to learn, interested in, you know, learning about specifically, very specifically, the other side of the strength. Everyone has everything. So what do I resonate to? Third quality. Okay. So let's see. We have another question. Completely open center would profit from all third line ways of each of the gates there. Yeah, absolutely. A completely open center. All I just read for you, all the third qualities. They're all money. It's being a phony or not makes money. Being greedy or not makes money. However, remember what I said at the beginning is if you do this from a place of, I just got to make money, and you're not doing it from a place of what is alive inside of you that makes you wake up in the morning eager to start your day. If you're not coming from this place of integrity, vitality, authenticity, purpose, fulfillment, it's going to be hard. It's going to be painful. It's going to be frustrating, anger making, bitter, disappointing. It cannot come from a place of my mind thinks, Lavina said, and my mind thinks, so I'm going to do it now. It has to come through your wave if you're emotional, you know? Okay. I can still see we still have the same number of people here in the group. And I'm wondering if you have any questions, my friends, over on... YouTube, if there's anything else that has come alive for you that you want to ask before I let you go for today, because I feel like that was pretty well enough as far as I just gave you the whole key. I, I gave you the synopsis of everything with regards to how you make money in profiting through alignment. But now it's like, okay, how do we unpack this? What does it mean for me, Lavina? <laughs> Oh, when does the program start? So we have three people confirmed, I believe. Might be four. Uh, no, we have three people paid in full. The moment that we have the fourth person scheduling, I'm planning it on next week um, because we have people that are interested. They just haven't pulled the trigger and paid. Okay. Yes, I'll see you next week, Anik. Thank you so much because Anik is part of the program. Yeah. So we need a few more people. Who are interested in profiting by being themselves. Now I'll tell you, the way that I have it done is I require that you are either completed, have completed with the Radical Transformations Clinics so that you have already gotten to a certain level of deconditioning to the best of my ability to help you get there. And you are going to be doing a lot of 
your own processing as we go through your business by design, the program itself, because it's important that you have a grasp of your own design and being able to write some deliverables. So the deliverables are, what is your business about? The business of being you. What is it that you're here to profit through? How do you make money as far as create value? You know, making money, I'm not literally printing dollar bills, but I'm creating value for my community. Remember I said I, that 21 needs to work for themselves? I work for myself in service to my community to help them be successful in their material path. As an educator, because I am a teacher, as someone who has worked with the system for a long time and very inspired to share my journey and my discoveries with you. So your way of interpreting your own life and your body graph over the years as you are deconditioning and as you are educated in who you are for yourself if you're a generator, for others if you're a projector, your way of describing who you are and what you do is always going to be better than mine. However, I can jumpstart your business because that's what the 14 does. The 14 is designed to empower a individual, a small group, and a large group. It is one of the wealth traits. So it's one of the reasons why I have so much fun doing this work because I know I can do my best to describe, explain what it is that I'm seeing in your chart and then you take that and you work with it for yourself. So there needs to be some time that you put into this. It is not a beginner's program. It is for somebody who has already gone through at least the foundations in BG5 or human design, who's already familiar with their four variables. Most particularly, I work with the personality construct on this side. So the way you're designed to see your perspective as well as your motivational frequency so that you know how to language things in a way that attract attention to who you're here for, the way that you're designed to operate. Now, I need to be very careful with this because again, Ross said, you can't write the script, but we can self-recognize, as in get closer and closer to the alignment of our form in its frequency of how it's here to function correctly. And so this is the magic of what we do in this program. Over 10 weeks, we work individually with each person's chart. There's only six people maximum that I take per group. And we, I have some video trainings that are available to you right away, some activities, some worksheets, and we'll be doing workshopping with your chart every single week. And the class would be on Thursday at the same time, yes. It is at 9 a.m. my time, or yeah, 9 a.m. my time. Gosh, the time just flew by. It's almost 10.30 here. So 9 a.m. my time. Generally, it happens that it's, we're about an hour in group. I do have space in my schedule to stay a little bit longer to make sure that everybody has a chance to ask the questions that they're curious about. And what I'm working with is not only the holism of your unique design and your profit potential, but I'm also working with your psychology through um, the psychology of the magic square. So how your communication of your voice, your values, your vision for your business. By the end of the course, you will have, if you write, if you uh, dedicate yourself to rewriting what I'm analyzing in your chart, you will have deliverables with regards to how you can language. I'm really good at being able to help people language their business, what their, their value is that's profitable. And I've got two eights here. It's part of my good fortune and good luck to be able to do this as an example of someone who can speak the body graph languaging to help you have the words so that you know how to language your business. What is your unique contribution? This is what my aim is in my inspiration as far as helping you jumpstart your business in the right direction. Okay, ah, you're welcome. Thank you so much for being here.